Hey everyone, Tom here. Last video, I took you on a drive from the northern side of Pennsylvania down to the southern side of Pennsylvania. I was going from Lackawanna State Park near the northern border of Pennsylvania down to Gifford Pinchot State Park near the southern border. But today I thought we'd actually take a look at these two parks because they actually were very beautiful. Uh, Lackawanna, it got rainy on me and it uh, rained for an entire day that I was there. Just, that was kind of sad. But uh, the next day I was able to get out, so you'll see some of that. And um, Gifford Pinchot State Park, also very beautiful. Let's take a look. I'm at Lackawanna State Park in Pennsylvania, kind of close to the northern side of Pennsylvania, having just come out of uh, New York State. And, um, well, we've been catching a little bit of sunshine here uh, between the clouds, but um, yesterday it rained all day long. So I've just been doing some video editing and uh, hope you like the uh, result <laughs> as uh, things get posted uh, eventually. And um, so yeah, I wanted to go down to check out uh, Lake Awana, <laughs> no, Lackawanna Lake <laughs> here in the state park uh, before having to leave. Um, I leave tomorrow and I'll be going to another state park near the southern border of Pennsylvania, so slowly making my way to the uh, southwest, I guess, is the direction I'm generally headed right now. Trying to stay um, in the nice temperature zone, uh, but also really kind of hoping to see more color. Uh, the further south I get, it seems to be, you know, greening more than uh, um, coloring and colors all over the New England area uh, as I came through were m rather muted and I think a lot of people have been saying that because of the intense and abnormally high amounts of rain uh, that New England experienced in the summer of 2023 that that may be why colors are either delayed or uh, muted very uh, badly uh, to the extent that many feel that it may just be a brown and down kind of fall. And that can happen. I've seen it happen in Wisconsin too. So um, never really stopped to think exactly what it was that uh, gave that um, response in the fall rather than getting the pretty fall colors. Not really sure, but um, it's a theory, I guess. Um, but anyway, let's um, go through here. There's a road straight ahead. I'll spin you around. So there's a road straight ahead. You might have seen a car just drive through there. And I think, <laughs> because I've seen a couple of people walk through my campsite, that um, I can probably just walk through here. And then I guess the lake is out beyond here. You can see some of the sunshine kind of poking in here, which is nice to see. Again, wish we had a little bit more color, but the green is very pretty. walking through as well. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to jump a rather wet little culvert here. It's got a curb, so that can't be too bad. Just stepped right over it. No problem. It's kind of marshy out here though. Look at that. Kind of pools in the in between the trees. Very wet yesterday, non-stop rain from the moment I got up until after I went to sleep. I'm glad it finally did manage to stop though. 
Okay, I'm kind of seeing a lake over here, so we'll head down into this area. I should have probably looked to make sure I knew where I came out of the forest there, but I should be able to see joy through the trees. I don't know if this car is trying to come in here or not, but... Okay, well, I'll check this out. I don't know what the deal is with this area of the park. It may be day use. I don't know if there's a boat launch here or not. I think they have a pool right over here through the trees. But that would be closed for the winter by now, I'm sure. So it looks like, like we have a couple of uh, loops here for maybe tent sites, going to be my guess. Pavilion for uh, larger gatherings, and there are public restrooms back there. Have some nice color here. We approach the shore. It's nice to see. A lot of people out walking today. I think um, after yesterday's complete blowout of a day with nothing but rain, I could understand why people would want to get out of their campers and look around. No fishing from the dock. Okay. Well, I don't have any fishing gear, so we're good. see any fishies looking to be caught anyway. sunlight. How nice is that? And I believe this is where we stepped across this little wet area because right back there we're going to find joy. I've had a number of people 
walk by Joy since I've parked here. I think those people were doing exactly what I'm doing right now. They saw a camper and figured this was the way into the camping loop. But that's okay. As you can see, Joy is parked right under a nice tree that's full of yellow leaves and is dropping them all over her. I think I'm going to have to clear out my windshield wiper area before taking off out of here tomorrow. And then yeah, just another quick little tour of the park here. There is a bathhouse up through the hill there. Don't know if you can see it or not through here, but there is a water station right here. It's just kind of a communal water station. But here's the problem. See, so I go ahead and turn this on. And what I smell is sulfur. There's a lot of sulfur in the water here. That kind of makes me Lackawanna come back to Lackawanna State Park, if you know what I mean. I don't think I'm going to shower in it. I don't think I'm going to fill up my water tanks. Well, I know I'm not going to fill up my water tanks with it. Sorry, I had to duck under a branch there that was about to whack me in the face. But yeah, that's a shame. The bathhouse smells of rotten eggs too. So, yeah, <laughs> it's what it is, I guess. A lot of people would just say, oh, I don't care, I'll bathe in it. Don't really want to drink it though. I guess I can understand that. There's the bathhouse there nestled back in the woods there. It's kind of in between one side of the loop and the other. And nicely they've got uh, asphalt pathways to it from all different directions. So that's pretty cool. And one thing you might note here about this facility is that it has a place to wash your dishes right here. Not all places have that, but it's a good thing to see. We'll go in here and take a look at the men's room. Obviously if there's someone in here, I'm going to shut this down real quick. And when you know there was someone in there, so you don't get to see the sulfur smelling bathhouse. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, as uh, state parks go, I thought it was actually quite well maintained and clean. So that's very cool. It's starting to sprinkle again. The skies have gone overcast and it is a bit chilly out here. It's barely into the low 50s, so we've only managed to get out of the 40s here within the last hour or two, and it's probably coming up on 2.30ish, I'm gonna guess. Well, I think I will warm myself next to the Timberline heater <laughs> and um, uh, work on some videos for you guys. Oh, I guess I gotta unlock it first though. You'd think I'd know that. Now you can probably really hear the rain starting to kick in. I'm getting out of here.
Now let's go take a look at Gifford Pinchot State Park. And as with most state parks, or any park for that matter, wildlife abounds. Beautiful little uh, deer here that um, was out walking around the park and just so happened to spot her. And uh, so that was pretty cool. Love those kinds of sightings. So this is uh, Guilford Pinchot State Park. Again, here I am without adequate wind protection for the microphone. But I just arrived here and I just thought I gotta get out and get some steps in and just kind of look around the park. And looky what I found. How nice is that? So on the way out of this uh, area, we'll take a look and see what the site number is for this uh, spot. It's, it appears to be presently unoccupied, but um, look at the view that it has of this gorgeous sunset. Just amazing. So if you ever come to this park, you might want to get this particular spot. It may not be electric, I'm not sure. We'll look on the way out. I think it's not. But boy, what a beautiful sunset. All right, let's take a look up this way. We just have to climb back up a little bit to get to your picnic table. <laughs> That's always important. And there's a fire ring back here too. And then up here is a parking area that is obviously asphalt so and it's two vehicles wide so that always helps yeah I'm not seeing electric here at all so it may be electric across the way but not here still this is site number 322 so just a beautiful little spot here found like a day use area. Looks like there's a bathhouse there which may be for the loop behind it. I don't know if they let day guests use showers or not. They probably do. Because uh, I think uh, most state parks will allow you to shower and get water and use their dump station and all that other fun stuff even if you're just traveling through and you're not actually staying for a night. Um, it'll cost you something, but it's not like you can't do it. And it's a good way to deal with getting water, getting rid of waste, that sort of thing, if you need to do that. Look at the beautiful colors here on this lake. Just wonderful. Uh, not sure it's a beach I'd want to go swimming from, but you can see the nice reflection of the sky because <laughs> the water is mostly calm. Further out it gets a little turbulent, but certainly not wavy or anything like that. Some beautiful reds at this campsite. Thought I'd walk up here to the um, I don't know what you call this, just kind of the picnic area, right? Where the fire ring is and the picnic tables are. There's two of them up here for this site, which is unusual. There's another fire ring here too, so oh, one of these might be for the next site over. Ah, but those reds and yellows, looking beautiful. I'm just out exploring 
today in the park. I think one thing that I'm really looking for is where are the dumpsters? I saw in one of the restrooms that it says that the trash receptacle in there is for waste generated in the bathhouse. Okay, well that's fine. But then it said something about for trash generated in the campsites, take it to the dumpster by the extra car parking. <laughs> I don't know where that is. I guess I'll have to grab a map and figure it out. With any luck, it's not a huge hike. Not that that's a big problem, but carrying a bag of trash halfway across the park just seems silly. Most parks have strategically placed dumpsters around, so don't know why this one is the exception, but I've found that every state park that I visit has some unique characteristics. So it is what it is, and uh, you just enjoy the park for the natural beauty that it has, and this one has a lot. All right, on Lake Pinchot State Park, site of the day, I guess I'll call it. Look at this site. And the view that you have of Lake Pinchot. And then, as you turn around, you've got a fire pit. And over in another corner, you've got a picnic table. <laughs> Albeit a little rickety looking, <laughs> but still. And then you also get a very flat level asphalt driveway to back into. Yeah, it looks like you might need to jack up the back a little bit. Looks a little low on this end. But this is site number over here somewhere. There it is. 319. Site 319 at Gifford Pinchot State Park. There's your site pick of the day. Looking across the lake now to apparently some other part of the state park, I'm, I'm guessing. Buildings are the same. Architecture and color. But how beautiful. A plane flying overhead somewhere. Civilization's out there somewhere. I'm on the uh, DJI Osmo Action 4 today. Just thought I'd use that for a change. Get some of that action footage going. <laughs> Standing on a bridge here that's rickety in the water, shall we say. Just heard something over here. I don't know what it was. Fish jumping or something. Again, the colors are popping a little bit with the, uh, even with the filtered sunshine, but it's across the lake there that you can't really see particularly well, and it's uh, more because of the haze today, I think, with the humidity. So that's an interesting change. Back on the Samsung phone. Tell me what you like uh, better. I 
think the action cam has its place. It's not perfect in all situations, though. And this phone does have a tremendously wide field of view when you ask it to, but it can also do that, which is really pretty cool. But let's get off of this rickety dock. And the colors in Pennsylvania right now are really nice. But again, unfiltered sunlight would really help them pop big time. The lake looks beautiful. Got some boaters out there fishing. Um, I feel like we've done this a few times and I've gotten so many pictures down this road. It's particularly beautiful in that I don't I don't know whether the camera really captures it, but the road itself is a little bit like a tunnel. You know, and that off in the distance it just seems to be more and more wooded and it goes around that curve at the end. It's really pretty. And the colors have been steadily increasing. And the droppage onto the ground has been steadily increasing. But Like over here is some of the richest reds. Well, there you have it. Lackawanna State Park and Gifford Pinchot State Park. Hope you enjoyed the tour of these very beautiful parks. If you're in Pennsylvania, check them out. And um, look forward to seeing you in the next video. And hey, uh, give us a like and a subscribe if you can. That'd be really awesome. I appreciate it. Have a good one. I want one of those. <laughs>